Hello YouTubers. Uh, today I want to show you how easy it is to build a CI CD pipeline with uh, Azure resources in an ASP.NET application starting from scratch. Um, the new Visual Studio 2019 comes in with real powerful feature when it comes to publishing uh, your ASP.NET core application that makes it so simple that you can build the entire thing end to end with source control in less than 10 minutes. So let me show you how this is done. I'm going to start here and create a new project with Visual Studio. Give it a second there. And then here's an ASP.NET Core application. Let's call this Microsoft Demo VS Demo Pipeline dot web. So this is our web application and then let's let's create that. Alright, and we're gonna pick up a web application. It can be anything else you want, but for the purpose of this demo, since we really don't care about the little details of the application, I'm just gonna start a very simple application that I'm gonna show you how you can build the CI CD pipeline entirely for the application uh, for your team to be able to uh, join in and pull in the code and and do all that stuff so this is this is um, VS demo pipeline I'm just gonna run in the application here real quick so you can see that it's actually working and it's doing something there we go Give it a second there just to kick off. There you go. All right. So here's here's our web application. I'm just kicking that off just to see if things are working as expected. So this is. Uh, just a very simple uh, and really there are no details there just a just a bare-bone uh, MVC application running our local host So this is your web application. So uh, it's just 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 bare bone, just nothing there, right? So we want to build a pipeline, meaning that we want to have source control, Azure board, and Azure DevOps, but we also want that deployed into Azure. The full CI CD pipeline, Visual Studio Code, um, um, uh, source control, GitHub, Azure DevOps, and then Azure. So how do we go about doing that? If you go to the Publish tab in here. You'll see this really cool feature where they say continuous delivery, automatically publish your application to Azure with continuous delivery. So if you go configure that, it'll tell you, pick up a subscription and let's build an Azure app service for you, right? Which you can edit later and do it however you want, right? That's out of the scope of this, but you will notice up here a message, a really cool message that says your, your solution needs to be in source control first before you actually can build a CI CD pipeline. You need source control so you can push things over. So if you go to that, you're still in Visual Studio, it'll help you build that without leaving your IDE, without leaving your integrated development environment. So if you see up, see up here, it says Azure DevOps, publish Git repo, uh, it'll say which account you, know, you want to publish your repo to, and then which organization. So I'm picking up an organization, you, you get to pick up the name of your repository and then publish repository. And just by clicking that, it's already building a, a, a um, source control and Azure board and uh, Agile board and everything else, everything else for you. And, uh, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. So this is done. 
right here just by clicking that button it says even see it on the web so you could just click and it'll take you like it couldn't be any simpler you could literally go straight to your organization and if you already have your credentials um, saved in your browser it'll literally take you straight to um, to Azure DevOps there it is so it basically built the entire thing for you pushed your existing code right but your pipeline is not ready yet you have nothing in here right so this is where this part comes in so now if you click configure again it'll say okay pick up from branch master here's your subscription here is your app service VS demo pipeline diff uh, as new of course you can change that you can make it literally whatever you want so I'm gonna keep that as is and then I'm just gonna click OK and if you look at the uh, output in here you will notice that it's going to be building resource group app service plan it's literally showing you step by step you know the um, like if we go to Azure if we go to my Azure resources in here you'll see these things are being created in uh, in Azure so it already created resource group ah, I didn't catch it it's super fast already built the resource group already built the app service plan and the app service so if I go to my resources in here I should see something that's called VS demo pipeline dash dev dash uh, there it is so check this out I already created the resources for you there it is the two resources in addition to the resource group now it's building the pipeline so our hypothesis here is that this guy is going to start having things in it see so now it built already the pipeline for you right now the the, the last step would be as soon as it's done is that you'd be able to go and hit so here it is it's done so it's giving you all the links that you need you have the Azure resource group right you have the Azure app service this is the URL that we want to hit that it'll take us to the web app I don't expect it to have the web app there yet since it's building and trying to deploy so this is empty right and then you have the DevOps build pipeline and the release pipeline if you go to the pipelines back in here let's go to the pipelines you see that guy in here it's already building your um, your application the release isn't isn't out yet but already built a release for you so now it's just building your application there it is and I, I, the reason why I'm showing you this part is just to show you what it's actually doing these are things like I've been doing this for so long we used to do each and every step of those manually now it's just two clicks of buttons you know and then it, it'll build all of that for you since this is all just boilerplate stuff that doesn't really make your application any different from anybody else's uh, you shouldn't be wasting any time trying to do these configurations these, th these things should be completely automated uh, with with the opportunity that if you want to go in and do changes and add things you still can go in and change it it'll build the basic stuff for you and then you can go in and change it however you want um, just give it a second there it's doing the build so as soon as the build is done it's gonna go and hit uh, the release so this is the build publishing artifact post job checkout everything is great so that's the build so the build here is completed should show you that green nice uh, check mark and then in the release you'll see that guy kicking off now in a second picking up that uh, from master there it is so now this guy is deploying which means that if we refresh this guy as soon as the deployment is completed we'll see exactly the exact same application that we were just running locally a couple of minutes ago full CI CD pipeline including source control and we're gonna do a, a real quick test as well while we're at it just to make sure uh, things are actually working as expected let's 
So this is the release. There it is, deploying to Azure App Service. And it's deployed. So that means if we refresh this guy in here, it'll basically show us our web application. There we go. Boom. The zero application. So full CI CD pipeline with source control with Azure board creating a new project for you all from your IDE. I was just showing you how things are but if you stay within the IDE everything is already built and ready for you to um, uh, to use and all of this under 10 minutes. Under 10 minutes you're building the entirety of your CI CD pipeline uh, without any issues. Now just to make sure things are actually as we advertise it to be let's go in here and go to um, to the views and change something real quick so instead of welcome we want it to say Microsoft is awesome like that. I'm gonna go in here and just commit my code commit change to welcome message and then we're going to commit all of that. We want to sync. Sync is basically commit, add, push. Basically. So here we're syncing. Oh, it even has fetch, commit, add, push. So all of these in just, in just one click. So you don't have to worry about any of that. So now we push that code. Our expectation is that this welcome will change into Microsoft is awesome. Let's see if that's actually the case. So let's go back here. So as soon as we push new code, that means a new build should have kicked off. There it is. Change welcome message. There we go. Restore, test, publish. Post job, checkout, all done. Now it's gonna kick off a release. I expect in here a new release will show up. There it is. Let's click on that. There's our release. Building and deploying and doing great things. Deploying, deploying to Azure. We get to see even a closer look if you click on the logs. You get to see how things are all right deployed so that means if we refresh this page in here it'll immediately show, show you the message Microsoft is awesome there it is full CI CD pipeline less than 10 minutes guaranteed uh, if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching